Hello again. Yeah, it's been quite a while since I did one of these bush flying videos, isn't it? Um, well, I just checked and it was actually February. So, sorry about that. I did say I was going to carry on making a few videos, so I suppose it's finally time to do that and finish this South Fiordland tour. So, let's get up in the air first, shall we? Okay. And, ooh, ooh, that, ooh, ooh, uh, who put that tree there? Um, we're, we're flying. Uh, yeah, I think we're okay. Um, might be a few leaves on the wing, but um, so yeah. Um, I suppose probably the best way is give me a few days, and I'll do another one of the just flying video series as they're typically longer and therefore I've got more time to chat and that's probably the best way to do it and let you know what's been happening in terms of what I've been up to uh, this bush flying video series in South Fiordland the videos are a bit short for that as the legs in the tour are quite small with not much flying time between the places and after five months or so without a video yeah, I do have a, a few things to tell you about so we'll just treat this today as a normal leg of the bush flying tour um, where the South Fiordland Express Deliveries paperwork tells us your next destination is North Crowfoot and a couple who live there and look after some sheep. Uh, the paperwork also mentions that the cost of any replacement sheep will come out of your wages if you hit any of them. Uh, quite cool with a low cloud over the valleys isn't it? Almost like being on an alien world. Um, and anyway, uh, sheep. Yeah, this is quite an interesting place to land. And in this case, I use the word interesting to mean that you definitely get a hero point if you can pull this one off. Now, there's a runway with at one end of it is the buildings and a small enclosure for the animals. And if you approach with the buildings at the far end of the runway, you have to clear some trees, dive down quickly, and by the time you're on the ground, you won't have much runway left to be able to stop before you run into the sheep. Now, in X-Plane 11, the custom trees I used were lower in height, so it was a little easier then. But now we've got x 12 trees which are considerably taller. It's almost impossible to clear those and then get onto the ground quick enough to be able to stop. So we're going to do the other way in. Where they have removed some trees for the sheep and that area. And if you approach over that enclosure you can then start to nosedive towards the runway much sooner. Uh, the negative side of that is that the runway is then going downhill from that direction. But it's probably still the best option out of the two now. Although all of that is assuming there isn't a big cloud over the airstrip, meaning we can't see anything. Um, oh, fingers crossed we'll be okay. Although all this cloud does look very pretty today. Um, yeah, I feel like I should be at the controls of Serenity rather than a Cessna. Uh, yeah, just in case you didn't know, by the way, uh, Serenity is the ship from the sci-fi series Firefly. Uh, shame that got cancelled. I thought it was brilliant. Uh, in fact, I have watched that series probably four or five times now. Um, 
generally I never bother watching things second time because, well, I, I know what happens. But there are a few exceptions to that, and Firefly is one of those. Um, although I always quite liked a bit of sci-fi stuff anyway. Um, the original Blade Runner and the original Dune film, they're also on the list of things I've seen more than once, and thoroughly enjoyed those. Um, the second Blade Runner film, yeah, that was okay. Uh, told a completely different story so it was enjoyable enough as a totally separate entity can't say that particularly with the most recent remake of June though as that is telling the same story and with a few minor exceptions I thought the 1980s film actually did a better job of it but each to their own I suppose I did watch part one of the, the new June film. It, it was okay, but yeah, I just did prefer the original one. So, this little mountain ridge here, airfield should be just over that, and off to our left. And the cloud doesn't look too bad, does it? There is one there, but it's not that thick, so we should be able to see. And yeah, it's not actually over the airstrip. Thinking it should be here. Yep, there it is. And there you can see at the right hand end of it there's the runway and that little circular blob that's where the sheep enclosure is. So if we come down over that, we'll be able to start descending onto the runway although when I say descending I mean nose diving onto the runway but you'll find out uh, the other part as you can probably see from here the whole terrain around here is sloping downwards so coming in this way if you're high enough to be able to see the runway you're too high and you'll have to descend at it at such a rate where you'll actually pick up speed and you really don't want that to be happening here so the best technique is to try and skim the treetops you won't be able to see where the runway is as it will sooner or later come into view hopefully and is that it there we go Uh, let's see what we can do. We'll avoid the last of these trees. Okay, then get down quickly. Won't mind the fence. Down, down, down. And lots of brakes. And I'm happy enough with that. I'm impressed. I like it. We've survived. Don't think he's anything on the way in, um, in terms of trees or fences. Yeah, just about missed the fence. Uh, okay. Landed with the nose wheel first, but it, it, this is a bush plane. It's sturdy. It, it can do things like that. And we're down with the right way up and the engine's running. Don't really care about anything else. We've survived. Uh, yeah, it's going to park up down at the other end then. Yeah, no, that was nice. Um, in fact, I'm feeling so good about myself. I think when I finish this, I'm going to do the next leg as well. So, yeah, I'll get that recorded and uh, 
uploaded rather quickly. Uh, the nun, that, that's still safely secured to a post, so that's okay. I think they were trying to train, trying to train it to round up sheep, but it never really worked out very well. Um, uh, never mind. Uh, so here we are then. That's the uh, next leg done, and welcome to uh, was it North Crowfoot? Yeah, I think that was the name. Okay, see you for the next leg soon.